Hey, Miss Brie Babes, we are back with another video. As you can see, today's look is a glossy rhinestone wing eyeliner look. I am totally and utterly in love with this look. I did use an inspo picture, so I'll drop that towards the end of the video just to show you what we were going for. But it's a pretty simple look. I used two to three eyeshadow colors, two easy steps with it, and the rest really was just the wing eyeliner and then the rhinestones on top. So. I don't know if you also see my little faux freckle here. Uh, my inspo girl had moles on her face. So I did want to stay true to the look and I also drew fake moles on my face, which I'm calling faux frecks. <laughs> I know I probably did not coin that phrase, but hey, it's cute and it's sticking for today. So me, my faux frecks and my rhinestones are ready to show you how we achieved this look. So if you want to see how I got this, just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do is go in with my primer. I use the Hard Candy Perfecting Primer. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my hand and smooth it around my face. So I also like to use my NYX Pore Filler Primer and I just go in like my T-zone area to close up those pores or minimize the effect of the pores. I feel like you can kind of see a difference low key now we are all primed up and we are ready to get into the face so the first thing i'm going to do is take my nyx brow glue and i'm going to just place my brow hairs into position you always want to start off with something on your brows because i found that it helps them to stay put all night and just to not be wild it just makes it cleans them up it gives them a good clean effect and for me personally i have eyebrows like no shade but i have kind of thick eyebrows so i don't use a lot of product on my brows if you use a lot of product it can sometimes get greasy i don't like that greasy look so yeah we don't do that so now i'm just getting my concealer out and for my brows i'm going to be using my morphe brow pencil one side has a spoolie and the other side is the actual pencil so i'm just going to use that to draw in my sparse areas and to also outline the eyebrow I can't talk when I do this. This is very crucial that you keep your face straight. Okay, now I'm taking a Morphe 
taking a Morphe sponge just to blend this out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my J-Cat Beauty Setting Powder, and it is in the color Banana. So actually, I got this from my local beauty supply store, and it's actually a very good dupe for the uh, Ben Nye Banana Setting Powder. Love this stuff. Love my local beauty supply. Okay. So I'm just gonna take that and pat that in on my lid. So I like to put setting powder over my concealed lid before I apply eyeshadow because it just helps it to stay longer and it helps it to not move so i recorded a video recently where i actually forgot to set my lid um after i concealed it and after a few hours first of all let me just say the look still came out super cute the look still came out super cute but after hours of wear i noticed that the like colors started to blend together and I was just like oh <laughs> no okay so now I'm going in with my morph palette and this is in the 3503 and the shade I'm going to be using is so look at the look for today the inspo she kind of has like a brownish orange shade in her crease so i'm gonna go with disrupt from this palette because i feel like that is gonna give me that color so when i'm applying my crease shade i always like to bring it up a bit right below my brow the last thing you want is like separation between the color and then the brow like just nude right there i hate that so i love to bring it up a bit almost to where my highlight would be, but just below it on both sides, right up under the brow at the beginning and then right below that highlight bone on the other side. And I'm also bringing it down a little bit because this is my transition shade. So now that we have that on, I like the way that looks. I am gonna move on to my base color. So like I said, this is a very simple look. So it's actually looking like it could be a one-two look well, one, two, three. <laughs> a one, two, three look for sure. Okay, so from my um, 64 Shades palette, I'm using Plaque Mines and St. Helena on my lid. Ooh, good choice. Good choice. That is exactly the color that I'm looking for. So I just mix the two, and I'm just going across my lid. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Gonna do the same thing for the other eye. To make this look possible, I am going to have to have a wing liner. So I am gonna do my wing liner off camera because I'm horrible at it and I don't wanna teach y'all wrong. But I'll be right back when I get done with it. So now that my eyeliner is done, I'm gonna go ahead in and complete my rhinestone eyeliner. And for that, I'm gonna need my duo strip lash adhesive and some rhinestones. So, oh my gosh. I, to apply my rhinestones, I also use a wax stick. And as I'm looking at my wax stick, like somebody tried to chew on it. Are you new here? So I have this rhinestone little case here. Um, I got these from Amazon. It comes with all the colors, has literally every color in here. But for this look, I'm gonna use the plain silver ones. And I'll also be using a brow brush to apply the glue. So I'm gonna first go in and put a line above the black line.
stick to pick up these rhinestones. Okay, so per my inspo pick, the look does look a tad bit wet. So I'm gonna take a little bit, like literally a dollop of clear lip gloss and wet the look up. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot. Taking that on the same brush that I used to apply the shadow. So with that, I'm just giving the illusion that it is wet, but it's not really wet, of course. And that's what you want to do is give the illusion, but you also don't want, again, to use too much. Loving how that looks, I'm gonna go in now with my Kat Von D eyelash primer. And prime my upper lashes. Now that we've primed the lashes, we're gonna go in with our Kat Von D mascara and coat the lashes. Okay, we're all coated and we're ready for lashes, so. Okay, lashes are on, so you know that means it is time for the face. And before I start my face, I always, always, always make sure that I prime or prep and prime, shall I say, with my Max Fix Plus. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of that on my face. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna pull back my little makeup cap. I love this thing, by the way. It keeps your hair out the way, and it's just so cute. <laughs> so for my face today, I'll be using my Morph foundation, and it is in the color F440, and it is also matte. So of course, they discontinued this line, as y'all know, but I am still holding on strong. Your girl do not wanna let go. And I do wanna glow just a tad bit today, so I'm gonna take some of my Morph Illuminator and add that in with my foundation. So taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to put that on my skin. So we have foundation on now, so we're gonna go in with our LA Pro Girl Conceal. Okay, so I'm actually not gonna go OD with the concealer today because I don't need to. So now I'm just gonna blend that in with the same damp beauty blender that I used to apply my foundation. So now I'm going to go in with my J-Cat setting powder in the color banana just to set everywhere that I just concealed. And I do like to tap as I go. I like to blend, I'm sorry, as I go. When I apply my blush, I just use my finger, best tool, smile a little bit, and take it back. I was not afraid to put that on. I was very gen generous with that. Now I am gonna go in. And now I'm just using my True Complexion Contour Palette to contour. Okay, now I'm gonna deepen my contour with my Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer in the color Prodigy. I kinda love this stuff. It, even though it is more like purplish, it does deepen, deepen up my contour, which is what I'm trying to achieve, a deeper contour look. I'm also gonna use that to line my lips. Okay. 
that should be good enough because I actually am going for a more nudish lip. Even though her lip, the lip on the picture looks super plump. So now I'm thinking of what I want to do exactly. I'm just gonna go over that now with some clear lip gloss. Another thing that the look, my inspired look has is fake moles or faux moles. So I am going to test my look at them right now. Wish me luck. We're just gonna go ahead and set our face with our Max Fix Plus. Ooh, smells so good. Now that that's a little dry, we're gonna go right back in with our. We're gonna go right back in with our contour tool that we use just to make sure that that is. Our last thing that we're gonna have to do today is highlight and for my highlighter I am using the NK Perfection highlighter and this is in the color Inca. Putting that right where the light hits and my hair is in the freaking way. Oops, a little bit up the nose right above my lip and just gonna highlight my brow bone okay guys so this is the finished look um i actually do like how it came out it is very it gives me housewife I don't know with bling it does remind me of what's Chucky's bride name Tiffany I think it gives me Tiffany vibes this is very it's a very stellar look like I didn't expect for it to come out like this halfway through I was kind of like oh my gosh what is this look gonna come out like but I do like it it's like a frosty type thing I don't know I might have to recreate this actually because I do like the look it's a simple look if you know how to apply rhinestones so and say get up love up close this wig is actually a synthetic blonde wig that i've had for quite some time everyone loves when i wear this wig even though sometimes i'm just like i don't know why but whatever it is perfect to complement the look and maybe that's why i'm getting tiffany um the bride of chucky which don't quote me i'm not sure if her name is tiffany or not but i'm definitely getting bride of chucky vibes with this look that is not what i was going for i will drop a picture of the inspo that I was following along with to show you the makeup look. So yeah, I really enjoyed this look. I will drop, be sure to drop the products that I use down below in the description box. Please feel free to comment some looks that you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because we do have more looks on the way. And tell me what you think about this. Like, would you rock? Do you like this? This is definitely not for the week, but I will say it's good for maybe a Saturday night out, maybe even Friday night. It just gives you just a little bit of glamour, a little bit of drama, not too much. So, oh, look at that wing. Look at that wing. And my little faux moles. You can't even see this one on that side, but you see this one. I'm definitely, I look like Tiffany.
I look like the bride of Chucky's wife. Like, oh my gosh. <sighs> but, all right, so I need to get some thumbnail pics and some pictures in general of this look. So that's gonna be it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this look. I hope that you learned something. If you did, let me know. Come chat with me on Insta at Miss Bree Makeup. I also just started posting on Pinterest at BreeChester2943. So, connect with me on socials, babe, and I'll be back with you. Well, until next time, bye!